So this question is a diagram question. We know that because of the visual represent visual input that we're provided with this geometrical figure that we have here. So the question says the figure above shows a regular hexagon with sides of length A and a square with sides of length A. So anytime I have a diagram, I like to label that diagram with the provided information. So I'm gonna just put A's here. And then it says, if the area of the hexagon is 384 square root three square inches, what is the area in square inches of the square? So I know that the area of hexagon, I'll just say hex, equals 3, 8, 4, root 3. And I want to find the area of the square. So anytime I am given information like this, the area of something, the volume of something, I look to replace the words that I've written down with the actual formula. So the area of a hexagon, the area of any polygon, is one half the perimeter times the apothem. So one half PA equals 384 square root three. So again, P is perimeter. A is apothem or apothem as I pronounce it. So the perimeter in this case, we have six sides of the hexagon. They're all of length A. So the perimeter is 6A. And the apothem, it's a little bit harder to find, is the distance from the center of the hexagon down to the side here. Um, anytime I'm trying to find an apothem, I like to just blow up this triangle that it's part of. So I'm gonna do that here, where again, this is this entire side is A. So then if I draw an altitude down to make this a right triangle, which I will show here, that means that now I have half A, and this is a right angle. So the way I figure out the top angle and the bottom angle here is I like to say, well, just erase this really quick. I like to say, well, you know, this hexagon technically has three, or can be split up into three equal triangles. Now the angle, the vertex angle, of each of those triangles put together form a circle, 360 degrees. So then if I have six equal triangles with all those vertex angles uh, adding up to 360, that means each of these top angles is 60 degrees, right? 360 divided by six. So then when I split that in the middle, or split that in half by drawing an altitude, that makes this angle here 30, which makes this angle here 60, and now I have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, which hopefully you recall, and if you don't recall, it's actually on the first page of your math section. Um, this side is like the x side, this is like the x root 3 side, and this is the 2x side. So in this case, I'm saying, well, my x side is 1 half a, which means my apothem, this height that I'm looking to find, should be one half a, because that's the x part, root three. So that means my apothem is equal to one half a square root three. So now I'm gonna plug that in, right? So I know that the area of the hexagon is one half the perimeter, which is six a, times the apothem, which is one half a root three, is equal to, according to the question, 384 square root three. So I'm gonna simplify this left-hand side. So I'd have one half times six, which is three, three times one half, which is three halves. So I have three halves. A times A is A squared. And I still have a square root three is equal to 384 square root three. So then I can, I'll just divide by root three on both sides to make that easy and get rid of that. So now I have three halves a squared equals 384. So I'm going to multiply by two thirds on both sides. So that's gone. So I'm left with a squared. You go to your calculator, 
you figure out what 384 times 2 thirds is. So I'm going to just do 384 times 2 and then divide by 3. So that's going to be 256. And then from there, so I know a squared is 256. And what am I trying to find? I'm trying to find the area. Oh, I'm trying to find the area of the square here. And the area of the square, right, is a squared. So I actually just found it, right? So a squared is 256. So my answer is choice, choice A. If I had square root that and found what A equals, I would have just had to go right back and squared it to figure out the area of the square. So there's my answer, 256, choice A.